Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome back. Time now is 9.50. We have Chef Kevin Miller back with us from Copper Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning. And what are you Happy making holidays. This for us? This this stew is essentially a beef stew, but mm -hmm. it's like elevated. I spent, I was a chef on a private yacht for about seven years, so I traveled wow. a lot through the south of France, studied with some wonderful chefs there. This is a dish they make in uh, the southern part of France called Daube, D-A-U-B, Daube Provençal. The recipe is on the website. And essentially this is just, you can use chuck roast, short rib. We've marinated it overnight in red wine. Ah. Oh, all that's these, why it has that tint to it. Right, all these gorgeous spices. Look, we do star anise, we do, we do orange peel, garlic, Mm -hmm. uh, cinnamon stick. You want to make sure you pat it dry because mm -hmm. you want to, it won't brown if it's not, if it's not dry. That's actually a garlic clove that we have halved uh, in there. <clears throat> so that brown this nice. And you're going to put all this reserved mm -hmm. uh, liquid. The recipe again is on the, on the WBAL website. Uh -huh. um, so you brown it and You then... brown it just like a beef stew. Uh -huh. We're going to um, do some of the vegetables. All right. Uh -huh. Now what's in here? So we have celery, onion, garlic clove, half. You're just going to pull this out okay. at the end anyway. And then spices. Beautiful cracked black pepper and kosher salt, sea salt. And then the good stuff. And then the orange, couple star oh, man, anise. Make delicious. sure you pull these, the star anise. See that? It's beautiful little, uh, the flavor it gives in parts on the stew is just incredible. Mm -hmm. And there's some tomatoes behind there on the, <laughs> hiding from tomatoes, it. Tomatoes so. too. Tomatoes, tomato paste, um, canned tomatoes is great. Now, how long does that take usually to make? So this will go, when you're braising, this is essentially a braised meat. Then we're mm -hmm. going to add red wine and then oh some, some beef stock. Um, and then we have what they call a bouquet garni. This has fresh bay leaf, uh, rosemary, thyme, bam, pop it in there. It's tied with a nice cotton twine so you can take it out at the end. Mm -hmm. This does better in the oven. Turn the oven oh. on like 250, 275, cover it, get one of these beautiful okay. enamel pots um, for about four hours. Four hours. We thicken it slightly with a dark roux, which is butter and flour. Mm -hmm. That's in the recipe as well. Okay. And then what we get over here, I make, they serve it with creamy polenta. Uh -huh. The polenta is very easy to make. You can use a flavorful stock or um, you can use water. And you put Salt that season. inside of it. So look at that. We made the polenta earlier creamy, and then we add that beautiful mascarpone cheese. Oh, Theo's over there drooling There's a little the... Italian influence. <laughs> <isn't> that... <laughs> so look at that. And then we're going to plate it up here. You know, it sounds really complicated, the dish, but it's not. It's, it's not complicated. This is, think of it as your mother's pot roast. You know, it's just as simple. This is... Uh, it just, so ha nice. just has some extra unusual spices in it, too. And you can just kind of put it in the oven, let it sit for four hours. Exactly. And... Or do it in a crock pot, but you want to brown your meat first. Look at this. We have these gorgeous, of course, we have to get a little, a little fancy. Um, <laughs> so we have some, and I, I like, some bacon in there? I like bacon. Oh, yeah. You don't have to have bacon. These are just little shallots uh, sauteed with bacon and cremini mushrooms. Uh, and some beautiful farm carrots. That dish has Theo written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are going to get to taste this oh, too. Oh, I'm so excited. What a, what a Christmas meal. Any, and this That's meal perfect. Is, Especially for this weekend, it's going to be kind of chilly. Absolutely. Perfect. Especially if you want to just keep the oven running all uh, afternoon long. And so. bake cookies while you're at it too. Exactly. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining so. us this morning. Uh, this awesome